Members of the Kettering College Board of Directors, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, parents, family and friends, and especially to the members of the 2020 graduating class of Kettering College, welcome. You made it. Congratulations. More than 50 years ago, our college was established to memorialize Charles F. Kettering, a man with inventive genius and a passion for making the world a better place. Over the years, with care and stewardship and with God's rich blessings, Kettering College has developed into an institution of recognized quality and care. Graduates, today, we add your story to the legacy of Kettering College. Just a short time ago, like Charles F. Kettering, you came to us with a brilliant vision of the future and a passion for making the world better by serving others in healthcare. As you come to the end of your healthcare studies at Kettering College, we find ourselves beset by a global healthcare crisis, the novel coronavirus pandemic. Within this unprecedented experience for just about everyone on the planet, you are having a once in a lifetime experience. The experience of finishing a program of study, of achieving a goal that was born inside of you years ago. In the news, in social media everywhere, people are waking up to a truth that you have known for a long time, that healthcare is a calling, and that those who answer that call to serve are heroes. Your vision for your future and your commitment to making that vision a reality has taken you on a hero's journey. It has been more than challenging. It has been transformational. You are not the same person you were when you began this journey. Your classmates, faculty and staff, friends and family, they have all been there to support you along the way. And even though we are not all together physically to celebrate this achievement with you, we are all with you in spirit as together we celebrate the most important reason for the existence of Kettering College, your success. So graduates, savor this achievement. But I want to challenge you in this moment, not only to inspire us with your effort and success, what you've done, but also to continue to be inspired by the needs and opportunities you see around you by your own vision for the future, and by your capacity to achieve, and by God. God says in the book of Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I challenge you to lean into this promise and craft for yourselves a new vision for the future, something that would have been unthinkable for you to achieve before you reached the milestone we're celebrating today. Because this is for you both a time to celebrate and a time of extraordinary opportunity. Bask in the glow of this moment, graduates. May that glow light the path for what lies ahead of you. This is the end of your studies here and it is also the beginning of what's next. This is your commencement. Congratulations. Good evening, faculty, staff, family members, and of course, graduates of 2020. My name is Emily Avilas, and I'm a graduate of the Occupational Therapy Program. Before I proceed with my reflection, I first want to send a special congratulations to my classmate, Courtney Burtonette, who is actually getting married as we graduate today. So congratulations, Courtney and Adam. To the 2020 graduates of Kettering College, 
Whether you are in human biology, radiologic technology, health sciences, nursing, or occupational therapy, today is not what we have envisioned for our graduation. However, today is still a celebration of what we have accomplished here. A professor from undergrad once shared some memorable words that have stuck with me throughout my graduate school experience. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. Our first day of classes at Kettering College was the first big step in a thousand miles God paved out for us. Little did we know what would lie ahead. So let's replay just for a moment as we reflect on our time at Kettering. Like any other adventure, such as a missions trip, road trips, or even spring breaks, we were not traveling alone. Something that I have learned both in school and during the current pandemic our world is seeing, taking on the highs and the lows of an adventure is easier when you have others by your side. Sadly, I am not able to stand here and provide examples for every single graduate. But I hope that as I speak on my experience at Kettering, you are able to reflect on who has helped you through your journey. First, I had the privilege of having my interview with Dr. Abker, who both that day and throughout my experience in the occupational therapy program has demonstrated what it means to be a powerhouse occupational therapist with confidence and knowledge. I have also been blessed with those who were present in my academic and spiritual life during my time at Kettering. I had professors praying before exams, Mindy Collins, Dr. Davis Cheshire, and Professor Ida Mae Jenkins participating in a Bible study with the women on campus, faculty and staff opening up their homes for collective on Friday nights, and professors, Miss Mary Kay, President Brandstater, Adam Brown, Mindy, and Hannah, always having a listening ear to hear how life was truly going. I wish I could stand here and name every faculty and staff who has had a lasting impact on my life. But trust me, we'd be here for a while. A journey is always easier when you have others by your side. I thank God for those he placed in my life as examples of who I desire to be as a leader. Who has been with you on your journey that showed love through humble leadership? Before we took our first exam in the occupational therapy program, my classmate, Alicia Donahue, was the first to demonstrate support and encouragement through a tangible way with a gift. Within this gift were two marbles, and she said, hold on to these for the next three years, and you can walk across the stage and say you didn't lose your marbles. Well, I may not be walking across the stage today with my cohort, but I can sure say I never lost my marbles. Like our professors, God has used many of my classmates to speak words of encouragement to help me through this time. I can confidently say that is because of those of you who walked along my, by my side with the highs and lows that have helped me to get here today. Thanks to friends such as Libby Fender and Kelsey Thompson, who were the voice of reason when my stress led me to panic. Vanya Josipovic and Sydney Stewart, who reached out to me often saying, I'm praying for you, you're doing amazing. I also had friends such as Courtney Burtonette and Alexis Day remind me of the importance of refilling my cup by taking a break before another hard week. I wish I could mention everyone in my cohort because the encouragement, reasoning, prayers, and memories these last three years 
have flown by. Who has been with you on your journey as a voice of reasoning and encouragement? What I have learned from those God has placed in my life these past three years is the importance of finding people to walk with you in life. I have been blessed with a family who has consistently pr provided me support and has been with me for every step of my journey. Before I started at Kettering College, they prayed that God would bless me with friends and mentors walking alongside me who would be an additional support during this time. God has answered their prayers. He used my support system to remind me how important it is to have those around you to walk with you during the highs and the lows, where we shouldn't walk them alone. We succeed when we have people in our life who remind us to be confident, provide us spiritual support, and offer us consistent encouragement. So then, who have been with you on your journey? We may not be walking across the stage until July 10th, but I hope you are still reminded who has helped you to reach today's wonderful accomplishment. Our time at Kettering College truly did begin with one big step, not fully comprehending what these years would bring. We took that step in faith that God would use our professors, classmates, clinical instructors, and mentors to shape us into the healthcare professionals we will be. I pray that we do not lose the lessons we have learned along this journey over the years and that we may be that light to support, that light and support in someone else's life. It takes such a unique time, such as the current pandemic, for our world to come together to show love and support to those around us. As you prepare for this next journey, you can be bitter and hide when times get tough, or you can find the confidence, strength, encouragement, and love that God has equipped you with during your time at Kettering. Although our time together has come to an end, God has amazing plans for our next adventures, wherever they may be. He will use the foundation built at Kettering College as he continues to shape us into the people who will be a source of encouragement to our coworkers and everyone else around us. This next journey is not going to be easy as we have seen in our world currently, but I am confident that with prayer and a strong support system, we will get through anything. But remember, don't lose your marbles along the way. Thank you and congratulations class of 2020. I'm Scott Benny. I'm the Dean of Health Professions, Graduate Programs and Institutional Effectiveness. I'll be announcing the graduates from our Occupational Therapy Doctorate program and our Associates of Science degree in Radiologic Technology. I'm Rafael Canizales, the Dean for Arts and Sciences. I'll be announcing the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Human Biology. I am Paula Reams, Dean of Nursing. I will be announcing Bachelors of Health Sciences in Health Sciences and Bachelors of Nursing. Emily Marie Aviles. I want to say thank you to my friends and family for supporting these last three years. It's thanks to you and to God be the glory. Oh, I need that for July. Brenna Nicole Brown. Courtney Burtnett. Lauren Canine. Valerie Suzuki. Kathleen Von Kahn Dang. Shri Yogesh Dave. Alexis Renee Day. 
Alicia Dawn Donahue. Jasmine Doris. I couldn't have done it without God first and foremost, without the love and support of my family and friends, and of course, without my classmates. Elizabeth Carlisle Fender. Samantha E. Hammock. Victoria Marie Job. Vanya Josipovic. Thank you to all my friends and family in New York Park for all your love and support these last three years. Emily Markland. Tyler Austin Minnis. Brooke Moran. Kylie Algram. Jameson Pence. Jenna Rebin Shaw. Rachel Rose, cum laude. Leslie Spires. Jenna Stekschulte. Sydney Reese Stewart. Kelsey Thompson. Brianna Fugate. Wu Rim G. Summa cum laude. Thanks, thanks for tethering college for me. Thanks to Dad. Sheena McCormick. of 2020. We've done it. It's time to celebrate for all of our hard work and accomplishments. Woo! Emily Yu Wu Choi Park. Magna cum laude. Mitchell William Sexton. Magna cum laude. Michaela Williamson. Hannah Nicole Morgan, Magnum Cum Laude. Steve Quick, Cum Laude. Erica Cavender, Magnum Cum Laude. Julie Ann Quinter, Cum Laude. My name is Julie Quinter, and I am receiving my Bachelor's of Science in Health and Sciences with the emphasis in Advanced Imaging in CT and MRI. Jordan Rusk, Summa Cum Laude. Heather Michelle Ashley. Alexis Amanda Renee Purdom, Magnum Cood Lau. Ashley Renee Andrews Lawhorn. Ryan M. Bruner, Summa Cum Laude. Suzanne Marie Goss, Cum Laude. Matthew Keaton, cum laude. Gretchen Lynn Kohlhoff, cum laude. Jasmine E. Price, cum laude. Alexander M. Switzerman. Farada 
Shalaman Davrova, Lee N. Stotler, Cum Laude, Jackie William Davis. Jamie Homan, Jennifer Lynn Adams, Lisa Marie Amex, Jeremy Andrus, Sarah Jo Ballard. Harry Berger, Magnum Cum Laude. Dean J. Bogart, Cum Laude. Michelle Lynn Breitenstein. Brooke Lynn Chrisman, Summa Cum Laude. Bridget M. Crussell, Cum Laude. Sandra Wall Evers. Heather M. Faldorf. Samantha L. Gallagher, Cum Laude. Kathy Ganter Pole Label, Cum Laude. Elizabeth Ann Gilbert, Cum Laude. Stacy Renee Grisby. Sarah Marie Haggard, Cum Laude. Susan Han Shaw, Magna Cum Laude. Wyomia C. Harlan. Elizabeth Hoskins, Magnum Cum Laude. Stephanie Hubbard, Cum Laude. Michelle Lynn Hunt. Magna Cum Laude. Justin Thomas Edward Ingram, Summa Cum Laude. Teresa Kerr. Tracy Lynn Manzono. Shannon S. McGaffey, Sarah Salisbury, Taylor Nickel, Bradley Micah Orozzi, Magnum Cum Laude, Tara Peters, Cum Laude. Adrian Ilana Pristas. Veronica Rowland, Magna Cum Laude. Hello, everyone. I just want to say thank you to my family and friends who supported me throughout this journey. I am now a graduate of 2020 with a bachelor's in nursing. Patricia Lynn Toby, Michael Wentz, Stephanie Brooke West, Cum Laude, Kyla Witt, Summa Cum Laude, Bailey Boyd. Sarah Colick.
Sophia Cottingham. Jennifer Sear. Elizabeth J. Dady. Gregory Falk, summa cum laude. Rebecca Marie Greiser. Stacy Haynes, summa cum laude. Jessica Hardwick, magna cum laude. Natasia Harris. Emily Nicole Kaiser. Olivia Michelle Miles. Ashley Dolores Randall. Brianna Roach, summa cum laude. Chelsea Robinson, summa cum laude. Calvin Ross. Rachel Grace Rooksager, magna cum laude. Alex Gregory Sanders, summa cum laude. Alexis N. Scott, cum laude. Ashley Nicole Margaret Williams, summa cum laude. Thank you very much, Dr. Benny, Dr. Canizales, and Dr. Reams, our academic deans. By the authority vested in me as president of Kettering College, in accordance with the laws of the state of Ohio, and on the recommendation of the faculty of Kettering College, I hereby authorize the bestowing of degrees to these students as indicated in the official program of this virtual commencement service. Congratulations to each one of you. Congratulations again to the class of 2020, to you guys. Um, we love you. We're thrilled to be able to celebrate here together. We wish that we could be doing this in person uh, because seeing your beautiful faces is always a win. But as long as we're here, I keep having the phrase that I've heard numerous times over the last uh, few months pop into my head, which is, like, who could have predicted this? Not having a graduation this way on YouTube, but who could have predicted this whole situation a year ago, two years ago? And in thinking about that line, like, what would it look like to have known that we were going to get here? There's a Bible text that keeps popping into my head in 2 Corinthians, and it says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, nor has entered into the heart of man the things that God has in mind for those who love him. There is no way that you or that I or that anybody could possibly wrap our minds around the good plans that God has in mind for you. Not only here, like in, in, in the near future, as we move towards, you know, getting through this pandemic and getting jobs and moving forward with your goals and all the things that you have planned, but for eternity and realizing and understanding that your eye hasn't seen, your ear hasn't heard, nor has entered into our hearts the things that God has in mind for you and for us. And may that be a source of encouragement and uh, something that we can wrap our hearts around as we move forward, knowing that um, you have a good future in store. And so we're excited to celebrate with you today, and we continue to celebrate with you. And as we close our time together, we just want to have a word of prayer. And Jesus, we love you and we thank you that the plans that you have for us are good and that there is no possible way for us to be able to wrap our hearts and our minds around um, just how in our corner you are, just how much you love us, and that uh, both here on earth and for eternity, um, you have good plans for us and we can trust you. Uh, we, we place each one of these students into your hands. We know that you've been with them thus far, getting them to, uh, to this day, and that you're going to continue to be with them as they move forward. And so, so we dedicate them to you. We dedicate this, uh, 
this day to you. We dedicate this school to you, and we dedicate our lives to you. And we look forward to um, continuing to walk hand in hand with you as we move forward from here. We love you, Jesus, and we thank you for loving us. In your name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and again, congratulations.